What is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it is your first time here, welcome. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Buff Bunny Collection Swim Collection that is launching this Saturday, January 19th at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. I definitely recommend setting your alarms if you are planning to shop the launch. I also do have a support code with Buff Bunny Collection. It's just my name, Shannon. Thank you so, so much to any of you who choose to use my code when you shop Buff Bunny. I so appreciate the support. As always, before we get started, everything that I talk about in this video will be listed in the description box down below, along with all of my personal links and measurements for reference. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So this is the third time Buff Bunny Collection has launched a swim collection. The first one was in 2020, and then there was one last year, and now there is one this year. And I definitely feel like they make improvements every year, which is awesome. Definitely the prints and the fabric have improved and the styles like there are some of my favorite styles in this drop um, so anyway with this launch it is all like swimwear and cover-ups but there are two I think it's just two pieces um, that are not technically swimwear that are going to be a part of this drop that are pieces that they've launched before that they're bringing back. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start with those two pieces um, real quick and then we will get into the swimwear. So the first piece they are bringing back that they've launched before is the flow short. So these are the V2 of the flow short. I'm wearing these in a size medium in the color Aloha. So as the name states, these are a flowy kind of track short style short um, with a draw cord elastic waistband. They have pockets on the sides. They have a little booty short liner on the inside so your booty's not gonna pop out. And they have a pocket on the back left side and they have a zipper pocket on the back right side. And the zipper pocket actually, you can like fold these shorts up and like stuff them into the zipper pocket for travel. So I size up in a lot of shorts. I just feel like shorts a lot of times run small and I just like don't like feeling like shorts are too short or like tight for me. Um, and the original flow short, I did size up to a medium, um, but I felt like they ran a little big. So I definitely could have stuck with a small. And the same with the this new version. Um, I definitely still could have stuck with a small, I'm usually a small in most like leggings and other things. Um, I do feel like they run a little big, like in the waist, if you can see, they run kind of big and they overall are just a little too flowy for my liking. So I feel like I should have stuck with a small in these. Um, I did see one girl that actually um, folded them over which I definitely feel like I like the length of them more and they fit like a little better when you fold them over um, so that is always something that you can do kind of makes the pockets poke out a little bit when you fold them over um, but it does make it fit better like in the front in my opinion overall a super comfy short uh, personally with like track shorts like these I usually don't really like work out in these. I prefer working out in leggings or bike shorts, um, but these I just wear like around as kind of like a comfy, like loungy short um, in the summertime. And I love going on like hikes or like walks in shorts like these. So yeah, I definitely do not recommend sizing up in these shorts. <laughs> up next, another piece they are bringing back. Um, I believe this skirt launched in the Under the Sea collection back in 2021. Um, this is the Odyssey wrap skirt and I'm wearing this in a size small in the color terracotta. So this is a midi length skirt, um, but it definitely has quite a big like slit up the right side um, and it has a little like wrap situation in the front and it is high rise. It's made from a super, super soft, lightweight, flowy fabric. Um, I loved this skirt when it launched in the Under the Sea collection. I actually got it in this, I wanna say this is called like Sandy Cheeks Nude maybe? Something, something along those like sand or nude lines. But I wore this a bunch last summer. I really, really like this skirt. It's just, I love like flowy midi skirts that have a little slit. I think they're so comfortable, but they're still like cute. Like they like kind of like show your figure. I love the little slit. I'm definitely excited to have this in another color. Um, I will say 
say it does run a little tight on the waist. I feel like if you are in between sizes, you definitely could size up. Like I probably could comfortably wear a medium. So yeah, if you're in between sizes um, or you don't like things being super tight on your waist, I definitely would size up, but um, love this skirt. Okay, so up next we have the Santorini bikini top and the sun-kissed bikini bottoms. And I'm wearing these both in a size small in the color terracotta. So these are both brand new pieces for Buff Bunny Collection Swim. This suit is probably my favorite combination launching. I was so excited when I saw that they were doing a bikini bottom like this because side tie string bikini bottoms are my favorite and specifically side tie ones that have kind of like a ruched center here because you can kind of like adjust the coverage along the ruching here in the front. I don't know. I just absolutely love it and it allows for you to like sit them exactly where you want them on your waist. Like if you want to wear them lower or you want to wear them like higher on your waist, it just they're just super adjustable, so I love that. I think these are so cute. Um, definitely very minimal coverage in the back. I prefer minimal coverage, but if you're more of a medium full coverage kind of girl, these might not be the best option for you. Personally, I love them. Um, and then the Santorini bikini top. Um, this top, you can actually tie I don't know if there's an exact amount of ways that they've counted, like seven, seven or eight different ways. It's just like a super versatile bikini top. I will try to insert um, a photo of some of the different ways that you can tie it because on the Buff Bunny page, they like showed the different ways you could tie it. This is just the first way that I put it on and naturally I was like, okay, I like this. I'm just gonna leave it like this. I probably will experiment later tying it some of the other ways. Um, but yeah, a lot of bang for your buck in this bikini top because you can wear it like seven or eight different ways. Like you can wear it strapless, you can wear it like crisscross, like so many different options with this. And it does have removable cup pads as well. I absolutely love this suit. I was actually in Florida this past weekend. I wore this while I was there and it was super comfortable. Um, just definitely, definitely right up my alley. Okay, so up next we have the Sunkiss Bikini Bottom again and the sun-kissed bikini top in brown leopard print, both in a size small. So obviously already talked about the bottoms. I just knew I was gonna love them so much, so I had to get two different colors. Love the brown leopard print, y'all know I love my animal prints, I always will. Um, so yeah, love the print. And then the Sunkiss Bikini Top, they launched last um, year, and it was definitely my favorite top that they launched last year. Um, and they brought it back this year, but um, I'm pretty sure the only change they made to it is they made the straps that you tie um, here longer, so you can do like a little crisscross detail in the front. Um, I don't think last year they were long enough to do that, um, so that's just a little change that they made. Obviously, if you don't want to wear them crisscross in the front, you don't have to. You can still just like tie them in the back, um, but it does add like a cute little detail. And then these have removable cup pads as well. Um, the back is super cute with this little like knotted detail back there. I'm just like super strappy, love a strappy bikini. Um, I will say though, I feel like it runs a little small. As I said, I'm wearing a size small, but I definitely think that a medium would have been a little better just because like the very bottom of the swimsuit, instead of sitting like below my bust, it's like on my bust. Um, yeah, I just, I feel like it would have fit a little better in a size medium. Also like right up here, it's a little tight um, on my traps, which is probably because it's tight in this area. Um, so I definitely would say if you're in between sizes, um, or maybe just not even if you're in between sizes, I would just like size up. And even these bottoms too, one thing that I did want to mention is if your size in these bottoms sells out, you probably have like flexibility between like sizing down or sizing up in these. Like if you wanted like really minimal coverage, you could size down. Like I could easily wear an extra small in these. Um, but if you wanted like a little more coverage, if you want them to be a little higher rise, um, you could size up. So like I could definitely also wear a medium in these because they have the adjustable sides. You kind of have flexibility in the sizing um, of these bottoms. But yeah, this is another suit that I wore in Florida this past weekend and I love it. 
Okay, up next we have the Bermuda Bikini Top and the Shark Bite Bikini Bottom V2 in the color Aloha in a size small. The Bermuda Bikini Top is a new style this year. This kind of fits similar to a sports bra in that it has like a, a seam and like a band under the bust. Um, it has a little V detail in the front, super cute, and then three straps going to the back. Um, so yeah, I could definitely see this like doubling as a sports bra. It's pretty supportive too, so this is definitely one that like, I feel like you could do water sports in. If you're gonna be out playing in the water, doing whatever, um, or beach volleyball and you don't wanna worry about falling out, um, this would definitely be a good option. And this one does have removable cup pads. And then the Shark Bite bottoms, these are the V2 version. I'm not exactly sure what um, they changed, but these did launch last year. I honestly think the V2 might just be um, referring to the fabric. The fabric of both of these is a ribbed fabric. Most of the other bikinis have a like nylon spandex kind of like regular swimsuit fabric and this is a ribbed swimsuit fabric so if you got the chasing waterfalls bikini last year um, this is the same ribbed material I'm pretty sure as the chasing waterfalls bikini but anyway um, the shark bite bottoms v2 these are a high-rise bikini bottom and they have cheeky coverage in the back um, and they're actually reversible so you can wear them like this or you can flip them around and a little like V taper in the back you can wear that with the V like coming like right below your belly button in the front so kind of up to you how you want to wear that I will say with the small I feel like it kind of digs in to my hips just ever so slightly which was kind of the same deal last year like they weren't big enough that I was like oh I definitely need a medium um, but they're but they dig in like ever so slightly that I feel like I probably could do a medium bikini sizing is I say this all the time but bikini sizing is so so difficult um, which I feel like a lot of the times that's why I like like more like adjustable options like the side tie bottoms and the tie tops because you just like you have a little bit more flexibility like size wise um, so yeah I will say if you are in between sizes on the bottoms or you just really don't like things digging into your size sides I would size up in these okay, up next we have a cover-up this is the Odyssey mesh pant and I'm wearing this in a size small in onyx black So personally, I love a mesh cover-up. Like, it's a cover-up, but you're still like showing off the bikini underneath it. Um, I will say they are like kind of an awkward length for me. I'm 5'7", and like, I don't know. I, I just kind of like something that has like a little more length, but they do have a tie at the bottom, so I think you might actually be supposed to like cinch them at the bottom. Let's see what it looks like when I do that. I feel like they make a little more sense when you cinch them, but then they kind of gave me like genie pant vibes, you know what I mean? So honestly, not really sure about the bottom of these. Um, I feel like if you're shorter than me, these might work a little bit better, like untied. Um, but like for me personally, I would prefer if they were like a little longer. Um, so I could just like wear them with like a heel or something. Um, but maybe they wanted them to be shorter so you could wear them with flats. I don't know. I like the top part of the pant with the like high rise waistband and the little like tie. Um, but yeah, the bottom not making like total sense to me. Maybe it's just me. Let me know. Let me know what you think about the bottom of these. Maybe I'm just overthinking it or I'm super particular. Okay, and then lastly, we have the Shark Bite One Piece in green leopard print in a size small. So this suit is made from the same nylon spandex, like regular swim fabric as the first two suits that I showed you. Um, and green leopard print. This is a very aggressive color of leopard print, not for the faint of heart. Um, if you want a little more neutral leopard print, the brown leopard print and the, they're doing a black and white leopard print, I would recommend those ones over this if you wanna be a little more bold and fun. Um, the green leopard is obviously a statement. Okay, right off the bat, um, these are very tight on my hips. 
Um, and on my booty back here, I definitely feel like a medium would have been better. Um, it's fine like up top here, but just for the hips and booty, I think I needed a medium. Um, lengthwise though, it's actually okay, which is shocking because a lot of times one pieces, bodysuit, stuff like that are too short. I have quite a long torso and I'm five seven, so sometimes like one pieces and bodysuits are just too short and they feel like they're suffocating me around here. But this one is long enough. Um, it's just too tight on the hips and booty. Um, I grew up on swim team, like I was on swim team all the way through like senior year of high school. Um, so whenever I have a suit that's like cut like this, like this literally feels like my old like speedos that I would wear. Um, so personally like, unless I was like gonna go swim laps, which I haven't done in years, I probably wouldn't reach for this suit. I'm more of a two piece kind of girl. Um, but if you do like a little bit more coverage and you do like one pieces, um, this is super cute in the back. Um, it definitely gives you like good coverage in the front. Like, and again, for water sports, like you're covered up here, you're locked and loaded. Like I could literally do anything in this swimsuit. Um, but the back of it is super, super cute. I love the lace up detail and it's not full coverage they definitely are like a cheeky coverage bottom um, so I really like the back of it I just you know I don't tend to reach for one pieces but yeah as far as sizing goes again I probably would recommend sizing up in this suit especially if you're someone that has like larger hips or a larger booty um, or if you're in between sizes I would size up in this so that is it as far as what I have to show you um, but there are other pieces that are launching or coming back I'll try and insert some pictures but um, the Surfside bikini top I believe that launched last year and it's coming back it's similar to this top um, in that it has like a lace-up detail in the back that one is coming back there's a new kind of high-rise fuller coverage lace-up bottom the Santorini bikini bottom that's a new style they're launching and then there are two more one pieces and two more cover-ups launching one's a little sarong and one's like a dress and then the chasing waterfalls bikini um, that one is also coming back I got that one last year and then of course some other prints and colors are coming back um, bossy print again is coming back this year this one was my favorite from last year I'll insert some photos of the bossy print but yeah that is it for what I have to show you if you have any questions about anything um, please Please just ask those in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer those for you again my buff bunny collection support code is Shannon thank you so so much if you choose to use my code that's all I have for you today I will catch you next time guys bye